Good morning children. Under English grammar, today I am going to teach you about auxiliary verbs. Look at these two sentences. Terrapin was flying high in the sky. Atharv can ride horse. In both the sentences, the words was and can are auxiliary verbs. Whereas the words flying and ride are main verbs. Main verbs are the words that actually shows the action or activity of a subject. They can stand alone. Look at these examples. Children jump. In this sentence, what is the action of the children? It is jump. So we can say that jump is main verb. In another example, sun shines. Now in this sentence, the action the sun shows is shine. And hence, shines is a main verb. Horse runs. In this sentence, the horse shows the action of running. Therefore, runs is a main verb. In this way, we can say that the main verbs shows the action of the subject and are independent in giving meaning to the sentences. Auxiliary verbs Auxiliary verbs are also called the helping verbs. They always come with main verbs and give more meaning to the main verbs. They cannot stand alone. Let us take the example. Can Can is a helping verb. If we write monkey can, this is an incomplete sentence. It does not make any sense because monkey can, but monkey can what? To make it complete, we add a main verb that is dance. It will be monkey can dance. And in this way, it gives meaning to the sentence. Look at another example of helping verb. Are. Children are. Again, in this sentence, we have a helping verb are, but it does not give meaning to the sentence. To give meaning to the subject children, we add a main verb singing. Like, Children are singing. Now, this is a meaningful sentence. Children, in both the sentences, it is clear that auxiliary verbs or helping verbs are dependent on main verbs to give complete meaning to the sentence. The auxiliary verbs are of two kinds the primary auxiliary verb and the model auxiliary verb. In this video, I'll deal with the primary auxiliary verb. The primary auxiliary verbs are basically of three types. To be form, to have form and to do form. The helping verbs is am, are, was and were comes under to be form. The verbs has, have and had comes under to have form. And the verbs do, does, did comes under to do form. Let us see how we can use these verbs. The helping verb am is always used with I and it is used in present tense. 
like i am delivering a lecture the helping verb is is used with singular subjects like he she it or anything which is single in number and it is always used in present tense like she is cooking the meal it is raining heavily the helping verb are is used with plural subjects and it is used in present tense r is also used with you in singular or in plural forms the helping verb was is always used with singular subjects but is used in past tense like satish was absent yesterday the helping verb were is used with plural subjects and it is also used in the past tense like the children were taken to the aquarium previous year in to have form the helping verb has is always used with singular subjects in present tense for example my friend has brought a bouquet of flowers for me the helping verb have is always used with plural subjects in present tense for example have they read alice in wonderland the helping verb had is used with both singular and plural subjects but in past tense for example father has bought a new toy for me last month and in plural children had slept 2 hours ago let us see to do form the helping verb do is used with plural subjects in present tense do is also used with i and you for example do you know the way to zoo i do not know the way to zoo do they get the way the helping verb does is always used with singular subjects in present tense for example sheila does not obey her parents the helping verb did is used with both singular and plural subjects but it is used in past tense for example she did her work a week ago they did not come to school yesterday